Good afternoon. This is Linville Maxwell coming to you again from Marsh's side in Kentucky with a, another abstract painting. The painting is 44 by 36 and one and one half inches. The color is blue and some white, but mostly blue. But as we look at it, we want to think about the uh, idea or the thought being that there is an all-seeing eye that is seeing every move that we make. The all-seeing eye being the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that is looking down upon us today, sees our every move. And as you think about uh, Romans chapter 8 talking about if we walk after the spirit, uh, spirit it's life and life eternal but if we walk after the flesh it's condemnation so he that walketh after the flesh is death but he that walketh after the spirit is life and that being that are you born again are you saved have you been free from condemnation being condemned if you believe not you're condemned already according to the uh, third chapter of uh, uh, the St. John's Gospel I think that's about the 17th verse the 16th verse tells us that to believe on Jesus Christ is life eternal but in the 17th verse if we believe not we're condemned already so today it's important to believe upon Jesus if you want the eternal life. And as we see this today, this painting today in representation of the Holy Spirit in our life, that God in our life, and Jesus in our life, we're, we are led by the Spirit. And if we are led by the Spirit, we are sons of God. That's the uh, scripture, of course. So today, how are we being led? Are we being led by the flesh or the desires of the flesh or are we being led by the Spirit of God? You know, I love the Lord. I love, I love my fellow man. And I want everybody that would to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I want everybody that would to come into the family of God. The family of God is a big family. We are one body in Christ. That's according to the Bible. We are one body in Christ. One body together, born of the Spirit. And I thank God for that today that I'm part of that family. God has a big family. God has a big family. But don't forget. Don't be, don't be, uh, forget the old, old devil. He has an eye on you too, wanting you to go his way. Well, let's follow Jesus today. What do you say? That's what I want to present to you. Let's follow Jesus. He's the one that we need in our life. He's the one that will give us eternity in heaven. Give us eternal life, the gift of eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Lord, I pray today and I ask your blessings upon this uh, message today. If it be a message to that someone needs to be saved, God, I pray that It'll reach into that heart that needs to be made alive in Christ Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for that. I thank you for today. I thank for you for your wonderful spirit. I thank you for the love that you've shown me. Now, Heavenly Father, I pray for the sick, the distressed, the troubled, the persecuted, those that's in need of any help, Lord, I pray for them today. Whether it be physical or mental, I pray, God, that you would lift them up or or through the flesh, God, whatever their need may be, their body may be racked with pain, it may be cancer, it may be a heart problems, but God, you know the need, and I pray for them and ask you to bless them. Give them the, your saving grace presented to them, for it's in Jesus' name I pray, and amen.